going back out tonight on the North Yorkshire Moors. Um, it's my first camp in a couple of months. I haven't been out for a camp in way too long. And it's your first world camp, Sophie, in a year. In a year, in a year yeah. Um, I love winter camping, but kids don't tend to enjoy it so much. So I, I only bring Sophie out when the weather's nice. And today it's beautiful. I'm really feeling it. It's about quarter past six at night now and the temperature is still about 24, 25 degrees. And yeah, with your kit on, walking, I'm definitely feeling those temperatures and I've got my coat on, which I may need to stop and take off because I'm absolutely baking. But yeah, the weather's gorgeous, so it's given it to be really warm all through the night. No rain forecast or anything, which makes a change because it's a nothing but rain um, this summer. So yeah, it's great to be back out. It's great to bring you guys along with us as well. And um, I'll bring you back when we uh, get to where we're going to camp. I know exactly where I'm pitching up tonight. We came last week and had a bit of a scout around looking for some camping spots. And um, we found a really nice little area, perfect for camping. And when we were here, we cooked up some food and just spent some time. So we're really familiar with this location, which I always think is really handy. One less thing to worry about if you know where you're pitching up and that you've got a spot already in your mind. So that's where we're heading tonight. Just got to push through this woods here and it's just on the other side of a stream. So I'm going to head down there now and uh, get this bag off because oh, it's heavy, it's boiling, it's warm. But um. I'm not complaining because it's just so nice to be back out, especially when the weather's like this on a nice day. I've been dreaming of a summer camp for so long and it feels like we've been a bit cheated with summer up until now. It's not been great, but you definitely can't complain when it's like this. The temperatures are nice and you're out on an overnighter. Yeah, perfect day. <laughs> me i've got the tent up now the midges have got really quite bad so sophie's taking shelter in the tent because they're just annoying her a little bit too much and um, they keep biting her so she's sheltering the tent for a little bit but all the kits in there the tents are up so now we can just chill out for the night <laughs> It's 10 to 9 now and we're losing daylight really quite fast. Um, I think within the next hour it's going to be completely dark. So we've decided to cook some food up. We're going to make some noodles, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to make some noodles. Yeah, and then um, we're going to eat them and start thinking about settling down for the night. So we're just boiling up some water. Oh my gosh, if you can see in the water, we have a floating bug. They're going to um, add some extra protein to the noodles. <laughs> so we're going to fish that out and then we're going to sit and enjoy our tea, hopefully without any floating bugs. So as you can see, completely pitch black now, lying on torches. Um, for light but it won't be long before we start calling it a night but I always find it really like I don't know what the word is but it, it's quite eerie being in the middle of the woods in the pitch black but it's also really peaceful because I'm nestled away hidden in this woods it's like r late at night now it's like half past ten and usually this time I'd be at home doing my normal nighttime routine we all have them you know but then nights like this where you step away from all that and you're just in a dark woods with no one around for miles and miles. There's no one else here apart from us. And you step away from that routine. It makes you really appreciate, like, when you go back home, the home comforts. But also when you're here, like, I really enjoy it. It's just, yeah, it's really peaceful and relaxing. And I need this. I crave this. Just stepping away from it all and, yeah, being lost in the middle of the woods. Something really special about it. I've just heard something over there. A little creature or something. What is that? What is that? Oh, 
there's a frog. There's a little frog on the forest floor. I don't know if I can show you guys. If you can see. My torch won't reach it, but there's a little frog down there. That's what I mean. Like he'd have been going about his business regardless of whether I was here or not. I'd just be at home. Um here I am sharing his territory with him, just chilling in the woods. What better way to spend the night? Right, well, I'm going to call it a night now, guys. Um, as you can see, it's really dark. Um, Sophie's asleep in the tent. So um, I'm going to go climbing next to her. It's um, quarter to 11 now. So, and we will have to be up really early anyway, because with it being summer months, the sun will be up nice and early. And once the sun's up, we'll be getting up and packing down and heading off. So that will be really bright and early in the morning. So I'm going to go get some sleep and I'll check in for you guys in the morning. He's having uh, chocolate for breakfast, aren't you? Yeah. As you do when you come camping, the stuff that we brought to make s'mores, she's finishing off for breakfast. So once I've drank this, I'm gonna uh, get the tent down and I'm gonna start thinking about making a move. So I'm all packed down now and ready to head home. As you can see behind me, that's where we were last night. There's no sign that we were there. Um, oh god, we're getting eaten alive. <laughs> but yeah, it's half past six in the morning, so nice and early. Gonna take a steady walk back to the car, and we're gonna start making our way home. So I'll wrap this video up now, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. It's been great to be back out, and until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll see you on my next video. This is a good day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife